Hey Byron, it's nice to have you here at the office in Zurich at Affinity. I'm really happy to kick the conversation off with you because I think what you're building is really, really exciting and desperately needed for everybody. First, would like to give you the opportunity to make a little bit a short introduction about yourself and why you started building Cyclops. Yeah, thank you. Well, first off, it's wonderful to be here at ICP Lab uh, this week. It's been great getting to know a lot of the other builders in the space, talk with other Definity team members. You know, my background uh, is as a software engineer. I've worked at a startup in the past. I've also worked at companies as large as AWS. And I found the internet computer during the Supernova Hackathon in 2022. And since then, you know, I've gotten to know so many different other developers. My co-founder, co Jorn Hookham, uh, I met him also during that time. And, uh, you know, the amount of energy in the ecosystem right now especially on the developer side and in some of these chain fusion verticals, it's a very exciting place to be. Now about Cyclops. I mean, I, I really think it's the product every project needs, but please introduce what are you doing? Why, why, why would I need Cyclops as a developer, as a project? Right. So the internet computer has a really, really powerful platform for decentralized compute and running that on the network. And our core goal with Cyclops is to bring that decentralized compute and mass to market. The way we do that is by providing a streamlined experience for developers who have these applications in what's called canisters to be able to onboard them onto Cyclops so they can focus on the product and we handle all the complexities of the compute management, the memory management, the billing, all of these things related to the DevOps and operational side so that you, know, you come on as a new developer to the platform, we make it really easy for you. And then we provide opportunities for you to grow and we provide team support, things for managing your DAO as well, all inside of Cyclops. I, I think a lot of projects out there are using Cyclops already. What's the feedback they give to you? Uh, well, right now we have 2,200 projects uh, that are using Cyclops right now. 18 of those are using them using Cyclops through the SNS DAO. And uh, they're always coming to us with new feature requests because you know, whether it's in logging or alerting or also making it even easier to pay for compute in, you know, a native currency outside of ICP or cycles. And so, you know, these are things that we're very interested in. Actually, the last thing you mentioned was something I also thought about a lot in the past week. So is that something you're currently working on? So something that we're very interested in there is ICP, in their roadmap, there's a Thorium milestone that is centered around new insights for canisters and new metrics. And, uh, you know, we're in working with the team at Definity to use those metrics to try and help us understand how compute is being managed and spent inside of canisters. And I think there's a lot of possibility with what we can do. Where would I find Cyclops? Uh, you can go to cyclops.dev, or you can also go to our documentation site, docs.cyclops.dev. We also have a presence on X and the Definity Developer Forum, which is a great resource. We also have another product called icptopup.com, ah, okay. and this is the simplest way to provide decentralized compute to any canister application, even if you don't own it or run it yourself. Also, uh, within Cyclops, if you are an SNS DAO, because it's a you know, decentralized uh, project. Uh, we provide analytics that allows anyone to track uh, cycle spend, memory usage of, of the components that make up the application and contribute to it, monitor it, make sure it keeps running as well. So it's not, the, the responsibility is not completely on the team. How was the adoption on that front so far? Uh, yeah, so far we have 18 SNS projects, DAOs, mm -hmm. that are using Cyclops out of, I think, 31 or 32. So I would say that's, that's been a very successful uh, initiative for ourselves as well. And it's been nice talking to a lot of the teams here from Origin, Gold DAO, also KongSwap is here, uh, Neutronite, all of these teams use, use Cyclops. Very cool. So there's another thing I want to talk with you about. Uh, I saw that you recently became the first, or your team became the first external contributor to the official core protocol on GitHub. How does that feel? I think we were one of the first. One uh, of the first? Okay, sorry, first. sorry. No, no, it's, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but no, it's very, very exciting. We are all building on a decentralized platform, and part of that is contributing 
to that vision and uh, you know what powers our platform are metrics and we wanted more insight into how the memory is being managed into in canisters so that we can proactively reach out to developers when a specific amount of their memory in a specific application spikes and uh, in doing so you know we had had conversations with the foundation there's a staff engineer, Dimitri Sarlis, who helped us out a lot with that. So big kudos to him. And uh, a Quint Danen from our team really did a lot of great work in pushing forward that contribution. And it was actually a lot easier than I expected it to go. So big kudos to the builders at the foundation for building such a great code base and having it be open to the entire community to contribute to. Very cool. So actually, I was just about to ask about uh, the challenges that you had or faced during that process. I think, you know, maybe the the most difficult part was just getting the setup of the repository. But also, I think our team was able to set it up within the first day or two. Okay. So cool. um, yeah, and we have a post on the forums as well as on our documentation site. We have a, a change log where you can see what we've been up to. And we talk about this process of how to contribute. And if you're a developer or a builder, how you can uh, contribute to the protocol. Cool. So one last thing, you're, you're based in the US, right? Mm -hmm. With your company. What's it like that? Like, I'm based in Europe. Tell me a little <laughs> bit more how, how it is in the US. Yeah. Um, well, uh, there's been a lot of excitement recently um, in the US, a lot of conferences that I've attended. I've uh, been on a panel with several other internet computer builders. Also, it's been really nice to see excitement in the investment space around uh, this cloud compute, decentralized cloud compute uh, narrative that's really coming back around full circle. And we feel that the internet computer is very well positioned to take advantage of this. And so, you know, this sort of falls back onto us and to our seat as Cyclops in helping to bring this decentralized cloud compute to market. And how can we streamline the process for not just people who are have been in the Web3 space for a long time, but also people who are Web2 developers or entrepreneurs. I mean, Silicon Valley, this is where a lot of this innovation comes out of. So how can we make decentralized compute attractive and easy for them to leverage on the internet computer? Great, really great. So everybody out there that wants to develop on the IC and does not want to deal with all the headaches and maintenance stuff, monitoring, should reach out to you, right? Yes, uh, you can reach out to us or anyone who's interested. You should definitely uh, participate in the developer forums. That's how I how I found I out. I agree. And everyone's very responsive. It's a very welcoming community. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for yeah for being with us and it was a nice talk to you. Yeah. Thank you, Marco. Thank you.